very good afternoon to all the jury members uh, my topic is uh, protection of children against uh, from sexual offenses act 2012 and uh, you know uh, the need of the law for this poc so till uh, 2012 there, there were no specific legislation legislations governing the child sexual abuse and uh, reason for increased sexual uh, offenses against children then no specific provisions for laws dealing with sexual abuse of male children especially and uh, ipc recognized uh, limited forms of sexual violence against children and uh, uh, ipcs uh, dealing with sexual offenses before poxo they were 509 that is per gesture or act to uh, act intended to out uh, insult the modesty of a woman the same is section 354 to outrage the modesty of a woman then say section 375 uh, that is rape 376 and 377 that is unnatural sexual offenses then uh, uh, this poxo act came into force with effect from 14th of november 2012 it identifies a child as any person male or female below the age of 18 years and provides protection to all the children under the age of 18 years from sexual abuse purpose of the law is to protect the <coughs> uh the, uh to protect the children from sexual offenses uh, which are as penetrative sexual offenses aggravated sexual uh, uh, penetrated uh, aggravated sexual offenses sexual assault sexual harassment using a child child for pornographic purposes and to provide for establishment of special courts for trial of such offenses and the connected matters then penetrative sexual assault in what it uh, that is it involves penetration of penis into vagina mouth urethra or any of a child or making the child to do so uh, or manipulation of any part of the body uh, so as to cause penetration or applying mouth to his uh, um, uh, mouth to other organs or making to, to do so as 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 defined in you know <laughs> uh, rape definition then aggravated uh, penetrative sexual assault it the pen, uh, the penetrative sexual assault when done by a police officer armed personnel jail officers hospital staff uh, of education institution, institutions public servants etc is treated as aggravated penetrative sexual assault any sexual assault using deadly weapons is also uh, an aggravated one repeated sexual assault assault of persons in charge of children assault by relative assault if the child is of uh, in, uh, in, in impaired men, uh, uh, mental impairment also com- comes under the aggravated sexual assault then touching the vagina penis penis or breast of a child with sexual intent or causing the child to touch others similarly also comes under the aggravated assault uh, punishment for th- this is 3 to 5 years then sexual harassment uttering words making sounds or gestures exhibiting objects etc with sexual intent making the child to exhibit uh, his body parts showing an object uh, to the child uh, f- for pornographic purpose using any media item for sexual abuse or threatening a child for pornographic purpose and the punishment is for 3 years uh, with fine then <laughs> using a child for a pornographic purpose uh, use of a child for pornographic purpose in any form uh, for sexual gratification punishment for this uh, offenses uh, extend from 5 to 10 years depending upon the nature of that of- offense then storage of pornographic material involving child is also punishable with 3 years of uh, imprisonment then abet abetment of an offense uh, abetment of an offense involved uh, involving a child is punishable engaging in conspiracy suppressing information uh, willful uh, repre- representation of facts uh, fa- facilitating an offense transporting a child etc relating to child comes under this offense punishment for abetment is <laughs> equivalent with the punishment of an offense under this law then procedure for reporting a case when an offense happens or like is likely to happen inform the special juvenile police unit immediately uh, the local police they'll put uh, a number and record the information in simple language in in the book uh, uh, in the record book uh, they have kept if the child needs care and protection by the police uh, the police unit, the unit will make arrangements within 24 hours inform the child welfare committee and special courts in, uh, immediately within 24 hours then recording the statement of the child the statement of the child to be recorded 
at the resist uh, at the residence of, of the child uh, or it's the um, as per the choice of the child by a police of, officer preferably and a woman and that office officer must be without uh, must not wear the uniform the child should not come in contact with the accused the identity of the child should not be revealed uh, then recording the statement by the magistrate the magistrate shall record the statement of the child uh, as the child states in its language in presence of someone the child trusts do not allow the advocate to be present while recording the statement by the magistrate the magistrate shall provide the police report to the child or its parents then medical examination of the child section 27 of the poxo act and the rules to 5 of poxo rule specifies uh, not to insist for police requisition or magistrate uh, order before conducting the medical examination the examination of the child uh, be done by a female doctor if the victim is a girl section 27 of poxo act the examination <laughs> Uh, uh, shall be done in front of parents or guardian or the someone the child trusts. Uh, if the person, if such a person is not available, then a woman official uh, from some medical institution must be present there. Section 327 of 357 of CRPC uh, also states that the hospital uh, first conduct the examination, whether it's government or private. And Section 19 of POXO Act and Section 357 CRPC both, both instruct that the doctor or the hospital to, to mandatorily inform the police when they are examining a case of child sexual violence. Section 21 of POXO Act and Section uh, 166B uh, IPC prescribe punishment for not following the directions of section 19 that if they don't inform the police or the uh, you know uh, uh, for this child sexual abuse cases uh, special courts for poxo cases a, a session court shall be made a special court for poxo uh, cases the second additional district court is made in a special court the court shall presume that the person being prosecuted has committed the crime unless the contrary is proved uh, similarly, the court shall presume mental cap capability of the accused until the contrary is proved. The accused has to uh, prove uh, uh, them beyond reasonable doubt, but not on the basis of preponderance of the probability. Uh, appoint a special prosecutor for POXO cases. Uh, he or she uh, shall have the experience of seven years. S special, uh, you know, prosecutor. A public prosecutor for poxo cases uh, then comes uh, procedure for recording an evidence uh, recording and evidence uh, procedure of the court the court may take uh, cognizance of an offense on recording a complaint or, uh, or the facts of the uh, police report the public prosecutor or the counsel for the accused shall put questions to the court and the court in turn will put the questions to the child the examination of the child uh, shall be in a child friendly atmosphere aggressive questions should not uh, should be avoided the child's identity should be kept confidential the recording shall be done within 30 days uh, of that offense the <coughs> trial shall be complete within one year the child shall not shall not see the accused during the proceedings uh, in camera uh, trial should be followed if the child needs other places for trial that can be allowed the child can take assistance of some legal practitioner. Uh, then uh, is a POXO amendment bill that was introduced by uh, in Rajya Sabha by the Minister of, of Women and Child uh, uh, Development, that is uh, Srimati Rani, on July 18, 2019. Uh, then is uh, penetrative sexual assault. The Bill increases the minimum punishment from seven years to ten years if the person commits penetrative sexual assault to a child below the age of sixteen years. He will be punishable with imprisonment between twenty years to life imprisonment or both. Then, 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 if I have the time, I'll switch over to the other slide. Uh, then then uh, I was talking about rehabilitation uh, rehabilitation of the child to provide uh, for relief and rehabilitation of the child as soon as uh, the complaint is made 
to the special juvenile uh, police unit or the local police. Uh, this will make the, uh, uh, they will, these, um, the, the police will make immediate arrangement, arrangement for the child care and protection of such as admitting the child into shelter home or to the nearest hospital within 24 hours after reporting the this uh, special juvenile uh, police unit uh, local police uh, is also required to report the matter to the child welfare committee within 24 hours of recording the complaint for the long term rehabilitation of the child then uh, child welfare committee it plays a vital role under poxo act registered cases uh, the child welfare committee should take into account the opinion of the child to decide uh, on the case within three days and to conclude whether the child should remain in an institution or to be with the family the child welfare committee should nominate <laughs> with the consent of the child uh, the uh, parent guardian or other person whom the child trusts uh, uh, a support person to assist the child during the investigation and the trial of the case then public awareness about the act the central government and every state government shall take all the measures to ensure that uh, the provisions of the act are given wide publicity through media including television radio uh, etc and the print media at regular <laughs> intervals to make general public children as well as the parents and guardians aware of the provisions of the act uh, the <laughs> officers of the central go uh, government and the state government and other concerned persons are <laughs> imparted periodic training on the uh, matters relating to the implementation of the provisions of the uh, POXO Act. So, thank you. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much.